Do you believe in time travel? If you believe that God makes miracles, you have to wonder if Satan has a few up his sleeve. You're traveling to another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are that of imagination. Your next stop, the Twilight Zone. And something beyond reason happens and turns skeptics into believers. Everything you are about to hear is true. At least, in this universe it is. Witness the theoretical argument, Washington, D.C., the present. Four intelligent men talking about an improbable thing like going back in time. A friendly debate revolving around a simple issue. Could a human being change what has happened before? Interesting and theoretical because whoever heard of a man going back in time before tonight, that is. Because this is the twilight. Where can you go back in time? I can do anything I want. And so can you. This is how evil works. Destroying everything it touches. And it's going to happen again and again. Wouldn't you agree? When you see a monster, you must stop it. So how did we end up here? Going somewhere. Let me ask you a question. You never really remember the beginning of a dream, do you? You always wind up right in the middle of what's going on. Think about it, Ariadne. How did you get here? Where are you right now? A lot of people know about this place, but no one will talk, you know? It's like they're scared of something. Do you believe in time travel? Most people think that time travel is impossible. But believe it or not, there's no law of physics preventing time travel. Down here in the dimensions below, we can be unaware of our motion in the dimensions above. The universe expands. So maybe in outer space, maybe aliens. Because all of them and you are on the threshold of the twilight zone. The river of time may have whirlpools. Sometimes I'm afraid that you'll tell me that this is not a work of fiction. Energy far beyond anything we can harness on the planet Earth. And personally, Dr. I'd have to say, screw their sense of calm. Quantum physics tells us that the subatomic particles that make up our world are collapsed from waves of probability simply by the act of observation. The fourth dimension, time, feels like a straight line to us, moving from the past to the future. But that straight line in the fourth dimension is, like the Mobius Strip, actually twisting and turning in the dimension above. A black hole. Isaac Newton thought, for example, that time was like an arrow. When you fired it, it never deviated. I thought it was impossible. The other universe is a parallel flowers, maybe quite close to us, but of which we'd never be aware. Gentlemen, I am talking about traveling through time. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Far. Are you telling me you built a time machine? The question isn't what are we going to do, the question is what aren't we going to do. For almost a hundred years, science has been haunted by a dark secret. There could be an infinite number of universes, each with a different law of physics. Two parallel universes, they could take the laws of physics back in time to the moment of the Big Bang and through to the other side. <laughs> theoretical argument, Washington, D.C., the present. Four intelligent men talking about an improbable thing like going back in time. A friendly debate revolving around a simple issue. Could a human being change what has happened before? Interesting and theoretical because whoever heard of a man going back in time before tonight, that is. Because this is the twilight. If you believe that God makes miracles, you have to wonder if Satan has a few up his sleeve. The parallel universes move through the eleventh dimension like waves. Our universe could be just one bubble floating in an ocean of other bubbles. But the universe we live in is not the only one. We began to ask ourselves the question, who lives in the eleventh dimension?